on the set. Rolling and action. The king of the kitchen, the ruler of recipes, the prince of potatoes and of the veggie table. Here's Scott. Hello, welcome to Cooking with Scotch. I'm Scotch McScotch, and this is uh, Scotch McScotch's Scotch, which I'm going to set over here. And we always cook with Scotch. Sometimes we put it in the food. <laughs> Harvey was doing our food inventory in the refrigerator. He discovered that we were out of fermented kosher dill pickles. I decided to call a legendary pickle maker. I'm going to call you know who because he's the best. I'll call him. It's a 1-800-PETER-PICKLE. It's ringing in now. It's ringing. Uh, press 1 for Peter Pickle. Oh, hello. Uh, this is uh, Scotch mix Scotch, and I was hoping I could speak with Mr. Peter Pickle. <clears throat> I'm getting transferred over to Peter Pickle's secretary. Hello, uh, yes, this is Scotch mix Scotch. Uh, I was hoping I could speak with uh, Peter Pickle. It is in regards to our uh, deficit inventory regarding a uh, fermented kosher dill pickles. He'll be here just as soon as uh, just as soon as he can. Okay, well thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye. Oh man, this is absolutely beautiful statue of the Queen of Scotchen. And look, there's Scotch and there's Harvey. I just want to give you guys a great big hug all around. I'm here and today I'm going to make some fermented dill pickles. Yeah! And these are kosher dill pickles. And you know why kosher dill pickles is different than dill pickles? Because uh, kosher dill pickles includes garlic. Yeah, and I love garlic. Oh, and you know what? I love garlic or my name ain't Peter Pickle. That's right. Okay, so I brought with me, I brought with me everything we need to make some kosher dill pickles. Let's see what's all in this. Well, first of all, we got some Kirby cucumbers. That's right, Kirby. K-I-R something B-I-E or Y, I don't know. Okay, now we need a lid. I'll show you where that comes in a little bit later. We're going to need some dill. Let's see. Do I have some dill in here? Oh, do I have some dill in here? What else we got? Oh, we got some black pepper corn. Yellow mustard seed. Whole cloves. Write that down if you're making this at home. Whole cloves. Chopped garlic. It's so easy to use. You can't live without chopped garlic. Oh, these are, this is a special deal right here. Hey! Oh yeah, these are special. And we got some coriander seeds. 
Oh yeah, you need coriander seeds. This little thing is like a homemade deal. I'll tell you about that later. And this thing is a homemade deal too. Hey! I'll tell you about that later. Uh, oh, we got some Himalayan salt. That's right. Oh, we got some Himalayan salt right here. We do have a crock. We're going to ferment the pickles in this crock. And we have the big book of silly jokes. Now, you said, why do you need a big book of silly jokes? Well, because, you see, Harvey and I have got this running competition. Who can come up with the funniest joke? And so, uh, <clears throat> I bought the silly jokes for kids. So just in case Harvey comes up with a joke, boom, I'm there to reciprocate. Yeah, so I'm going to set this right here. And we might have to use it if Harvey does come up with a joke. Hey, my man Harvey! What up, dude? Hey! Got any jokes? Oh, you do? Well, lay one on me. Yeah, yeah, I got a good, I got a good joke. What is a cow's favorite movie? The sound of music. The sound of music. Well, I tell you what, Harry, I got one for you. What did the doctor prescribe? to the sick lemon. What did the doctor prescribe to the sick lemon? Lemonade! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, I got you on that one, Harvey. Yeah. Maybe I got you, I don't know. Okay, now, we're going to have to make a brine. That's water and salt. And this measuring cup Big one, isn't it? Yeah. This measuring cup will go up to 2,000 grams. Can you believe that? 2,000 grams. So if we just pour some water in there, I use spring water so there's no chlorine in it. I like to do this. Makes me concentrate. Okay, that is exactly 2,000 grams. Not really exactly, but it's close enough. Now, we're going to set this aside right here. Let's see. If we have 2,000 grams of water, 2,000 times 0 0.04, that's 80 grams of salt. All right. And now, in 2,000 grams of water, we're going to add 80 grams of Himalayan salt. This is a special kind of salt. It's, a, it's Himalayan, it's Himalayan salt called Sherpa Pink. Oh, you can't go wrong there. Supposed to rebound. Okay, so now I need, so now I need about 80 grams of this Himalayan pink salt. 67 grams. 79 grams. 83 grams. That'll do it. Okay. Now we'll just set this aside. <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to mix this salt okay in with the water and start dissolving it. We can dissolve it at room temperature, we can put it on the stove, we can do just about anything we want with it, except we gotta make it get dissolved. Now, uh, my lady queen of scotch, if you see me doing something that 
maybe I should do different, you let me know. And Harvey and Scotchy, you know, uh, I know the Queen calls you Scotchy, all right? So he's going to take a few minutes, and we'll just let it be over there. Now, we're going to need some uh, cucumbers right here. Now, we're going to have to wash them. So we got, we got a plastic washing machine here, and we'll put those cucumbers in there, and we're going to wash them up, let them drain for just a bit. We're going to have to weigh those cucumbers. We're going to weigh it up in grams. Okay, now, these three Kirby cucumbers are weighing in at 516 grams. That's important because we want to make a 4% brine. And the 4% brine has to account for the weight of the cucumbers. And you say, why, why does that happen? Because. Why? Because I'll tell you. I'm glad you asked why. Because the cucumbers are about 80-90% water maybe even a little higher, okay? So, because it has water in the cucumber, cucumbers mostly water, okay? We have to make a 4% brine of the weight of these cucumbers. So, if, all right, so we got a calculator here and clear that out. And we got 516 grams of cucumbers, and we say, oh, times 0 0.04, that's 20 grams of salt. Okay, so now, we have this over here. We'll set this over here. I'm going to cut up these cucumbers. So, <clears throat> what I do okay is I always trim off the ends of these cucumbers like this and like that and you might ask me Peter Pickle why do you do that well I'm glad you asked because my grandmother did it that way and if it was good enough for my grandmother Grandma Pickle is good enough for Peter Pickle and then I want to quarter these up just like this. Okay, set that over there. And here we go, number two. These cucumbers are very fresh and crisp, and that's what you want. You want fresh cucumbers and 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 crisp. We have all of these cucumbers. Ready. We have 515 grams of cucumbers and that means that we are going to need 20 we need 20 grams of pink Himalayan salt that's 21 grams of pink Himalayan salt so we're, we're good on that now we we want to add the salt for these cucumbers into this water and we're going to have to let them, we're going to have to let that salt dissolve. And while that, while that's dissolving, we can load these uh, cucumbers up into this crock. Some cucumbers in there now. Put a little bit of that over there. Yeah, looks good. And we're going to take some dill, smoosh that up in there, add some more cucumbers, put some more cucumbers in there, that looks good, take a little bit more dill from here, put that in there, see, what, see what's going on, and give the salt in the measuring cup a little bit of a stir to, to keep it dissolving. For spices. We have to add some cloves. Now we want a very small amount of cloves. 
maybe one. Okay, so I have three small, three clothes. One, two, three. Nice. Okay, now we've got to add some mustard seeds. And you say, you ask me, how much mustard seed do you put in there? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because you put in exactly that much. No more, no less. Okay. And some black peppercorns. See, we got some black peppercorns here. Okay, so now, you ask me, how much black peppercorns do you... Well, I'm glad you asked. That smells good. You add exactly that much. No more and no less. Sprinkle that in there. Get it around. Okay, now. The next thing we gotta do is we gotta add some coriander. Whole coriander seeds, not coriander powder. No, 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 no. You gotta go with whole coriander seeds. See? Whole coriander seeds. So, you asked me, and I'm glad you asked me this question. How much coriander seed will you put in exactly this much? No more, no less. Now, we have to put in some garlic. kind of a spoon in there and you say well how much garlic do you well I'm glad you asked me how much garlic I put in because I put in this much and then a little bit more so, that's how much garlic you need so we got to give this salt another mix still dissolving but it'll be there pretty soon so while that's dissolving I'm going to challenge Harvey. Harvey, I challenge you to a joke contest. Yeah. Let's do it. Alright. Okay. Okay, Harvey. Let's see if you got one better than this one. Why did the man put his money in the freezer? Because he wanted cold, hard cash. <laughs> in the freezer, cold, hard cash. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Harvey, your turn. Go. Why did the dog cross the street to get to the parking lot? <laughs> oh, Harvey, that's a good one. Barking lot. <laughs> I would say it's about even split there. Okay? So you're a winner and I'm a winner. Okay? It's a win-win situation. We have a big competition, but it's always a win-win. You know, Harvey plays piano. He plays guitar. He plays harmonica. He plays the radio. You know, that guy is multi-talented when it comes to music. And I love it when he accompanies me in the kitchen with some good, good, upbeat music. Yeah, yeah. Here it goes.
tried to pour it in too fast. It, this one is better just to look over and buy a little trickle. Well, uh, Peter Pickle is not perfect. All right, so now we have put the cucumbers, the dill weed, the spices, including coriander, some mustard seeds, some black peppercorns, garlic. Now, it's very important to keep everything submerged below the brine. All right, so the brine has to be over top of all these vegetables in there because you know if you don't submerge them underneath the brine you're going to get bad mold we don't want that what we have here is a uh, homemade can be this it can be this or you can squeeze it down it's made out of a, a of an ice cream lid i think it's genius okay so that's the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put that in there like that okay the next thing we want to do is we want now this is very interesting thing i bought it for a big uh, sauerkraut i was going to make a big pot of sauerkraut but i'm not a sauerkraut expert i'm a pickle expert okay? <laughs> so then the next thing we do is we use these glass weights and they go in there just like this and when they go in there they sink everything down is below the surface I'm going to fill this up with some more brine solution all the way up to here now the next thing that we have to do is we have to put a lid on it right there okay and we'll check it we will check it uh, every day or so just by lifting the lid off letting any carbon carbon uh what is it monoxide no carbon dioxide all that whatever come out and is we have to put a label on this stuff so we know what it is because we're going to leave it in there for about, oh, maybe a, a week, maybe two weeks, maybe that's enough. I'm going to write down today's date. Then I'm going to write the word open, open 720. And then we better write down these are kosher dills. We're going to set this over here. Oh. I would like to thank my lady, Queen of Scotchland, and uh, a replica of Harvey and replica of Scotch. Uh, you guys have worked great. Thank you very much for all your help. It's time for me to split because I got to go find some more cucumbers. Harvey, I'll see you later, dude. Chill on, chill on. So listen. I'll be back in about 10 days, plus or minus, okay, to check on those kosher dill pickles. Until then, let's make more pickles. More pickles. from my man Harvey, he's in the house too. Hey, Harvey! Yeah! Okay, so listen, 
I was here about oh, a week ago, maybe seven, eight days, something like that, and I made some kosher dill pickles, fermented kosher dill pickles. That's right, fer fermented kosher dill pickers. Pick, no, let me get this straight. <laughs> fermented kosher dill pickles. Yeah, and I did that because I'm a pickle expert and my name is Peter Pickle. Right there, it is, Peter Pickle. But now we can access, we can access the pickles that I made. And here they are. Come on, come on, come on now, come on now. Ho, ho, ho. There it is. And it smells really delicious. Oh, this smells delicious. Okay, because we have. There's some yeast growing on the top of this, and so we have to get that yeast off. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to flood it. Bring that over here. Right there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? So I, I'm going to show you how I flood them pickles, all right? You can see the yeast kind of like floating around there. And there it goes, flooding. Over the side it goes. All right. I think that was a fly. Did you see a fly come through this area? If you see it again, let me know, because I'm going to swat the heck out of it. There's a dead fly. Ow! 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 Damn dead fly. Like I said, we had these uh, these special deals, glass ones. Take them out. Get the fish in them out. Then we had this homemade deal. Fish that out. Then we had this other homemade deal. We gotta fish that out. Oh man. Look at this. Look at this pickle coming out. Come on out of there, pickle! Come on out! That is looking like a good kosher pickle. I probably smashed it up a little bit. So, I'm gonna do this. Oh, come on out of there. All you, all you guys should just come out. Well, we fished these out of the crop. And now we're gonna have to make a nice pretty little of this stuff. Now, stabilizers down here. These are like stabilizer pickles. And this one. Isn't that pretty? Now, I got these in the, in the display mode here. Like that. I think it looks pretty, pretty cute. You know something? People ask me, why do you put that into a display? Well, I'm glad you asked because it makes it look prettier, that's why. Food is food, but when you make it look pretty, it tastes a whole lot better. Remember that, you heard it from Peter Pickle. That's right. Now, what I need right now is a beer. And I wanna say, Harvey, You've played some really good music for me, so I'm gonna drink to your health. You're here, you're here, you're here. That's a nice ice cold beer, Harvey. You want one? You want you want a nice cold beer? Okay. Go get yourself one. It's out in the garage. Yeah. In the refrigerator in the it's in the garage, yeah. Okay. Now, what we have to do is we have to test taste these delicious fermented kosher dill pickles.
slow it down. Spin me around. Oh, if you want one, just come to Scotch's Studios. It's on the intersection of Entertain Lane and Cookin' Street. got the taste of dill, it's got the taste of garlic and salt, and when you wash it down with a nice ice cold beer. Oh man, that's so good. These pickles could be a meal in itself, I'm telling you what. Pickle could be here. Taste one of these pickles. She'd say, Peter, pickle, you done perfect. Peter, pickle, perfect. So I got a, I got a skinny jar, and I'm gonna pack these pickles for storage in the refrigerator. And this one on top. And oh, what a pity. There's no more room in there for this little one. So what should we do? I know. Let's eat it. Mm. So we're going to put these pickles in the refrigerator. And Harvey, before I go, I just want to say one more thing. Knock, knock. Who's there? Irish. Irish who? Irish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. Ah! <laughs> Irish, you uh, happy St. Pat? See, I'm wearing green, so it could be St. Patrick's Day. Harvey, you the man. You is a good musician. You play some good music, and man, you's, you're a good man. You're here. You're here. Just a minute. <sighs> Harvey, someday I'll come back. We'll make some more pickles. Different kinds. I mean, you know, there's lots of different kinds of pickles. There's like kosher pickles, dill pickles, bread and butter pickles, refrigerated pickles, pickle slices, pickle whole pickles. You got pickle quarters. You got uh, ripple pickles, I think they call them. I don't know what they call them. They're, you know, rippled. All different kinds of pickles. So I'll be back. amigo. <laughs> That's a little Spanish I threw in there. Uh, adios amigo. And hasta la vista too. Pickles make me wanna dance.